Wrestling has had its share of scandals, mysteries and even crimes, whether it's behind the scenes activities between wrestlers or puzzling situations in the industry itself. And one of them is the incredible story of the love triangle involving Triple H, China and Stephanie McMahon. It was a relationship that changed the WWE entirely into what it is now today. Join us now as a final bell looks at Triple H's real life affair with Stephanie McMahon. Joni Laura debuted in the WWF in 1997, serving as a bodyguard for D-Generation X's Shawn Michaels and Triple H, who actually lobbied for her to get into the WWF. China spent considerable time with Triple H, and eventually, sparks flew. In her book, If They Only Knew, China recalls having feelings for him when they trained together. Things eventually blossomed into a romance as both superstars climbed the WWF ladder. By 1999, Joni Lawler's China character had gone from D-Generation X's bodyguard to an in-ring performer not only capable of holding her own against male competitors, but beating them in the ring. That year, China became the first woman to enter the Royal Rumble, competed in the King of the Ring, advancing to Round 2, and became the first female to become number one contender for the WWF Championship. While this was going on, China's boyfriend saw his star on the rise as well, as he was breaking out from the upper card into the main event. The year 2000 was even better for wrestling's ninth wonder of the world, both in WWF and out of it. China's storyline romance with Eddie Guerrero showcased her range, as did her television appearances on the NBC sitcom Third Rock from the Sun, USA Network's Pacific Blue, and the film Alien Fury Countdown to Invasion, the film being one of the lesser known. China also posed in the November issue of Playboy, which sold over a million copies. China's 2001 memoir, If They Only Knew, entered the New York Times bestseller list, another reminder of how popular she was. Life was going good for China, and she seemed to find the satisfaction she'd struggled for her entire life. With Triple H by her side, they seemed to be one of wrestling's power couples. That was not to last, however, as an on-screen pairing between Triple H and Stephanie McMahon turned into a love triangle between China, Helmsley, and McMahon. Stephanie would join forces with Triple H in a memorable McMahon-Helmsley-era storyline that saw wrestling's on-screen power couple eventually transform into a real-life wrestling power couple. During an interview with Howard Stern, Stephanie recalled how their storyline romance morphed into an actual one. Well, I mean, he was in love with her at one time. They were, you right. know, so... But by the time I came around, things weren't so good. By the time, you know, Triple H and I started our on-screen storyline, we just sort of had great chemistry and it just went from there. Triple H and China had bought a house and began living together. However, rumor has it, around 2000, the relationship began to fizzle. After their breakup, China would claim that she felt Hunter was trying to get her to break things off with her. If so, was Triple H doing so to avoid revealing he was having an affair with Stephanie McMahon? Long after their split, China alleged that Triple H struck her when they were together. According to one report, he swiped my hand, I swiped his, and then he hit me. He was crying and felt bad he'd done it, but it happened. However, Triple H and his friend Sean Waltman, aka X-Pac, denied this happened, with Waltman claiming China had told him that she fabricated the story. Whether the Triple H and China relationship was deteriorating or going through a rough patch, Stephanie's kayfabe relationship with Helmsley was heating up. One thing led to another and Stephanie and Hunter began dating, a situation that had to be incredibly difficult to hide. There were hints that something was going on between Stephanie and Triple H, with the locker room growing suspicious. But once Vince McMahon found out, he was furious, knowing the havoc the relationship could play in the locker room, particularly with Triple H's star on the rise. Inevitably, wrestlers would claim Helmsley was getting pushed due to his relationship with the Billion Dollar Princess, and claims Triple H has dealt with his entire career since the romance went public. McMahon ordered them to break up, but the two merely started dating on the down low.
In a situation that seems to fit in with Vince McMahon's school of keeping business and personal matters separate, Stephanie McMahon championed China's character despite her relationship with Triple H. While Stephanie McMahon was sneaking behind China's back with Triple H, Bruce Pritchard, who was a top figure in the WWF creative at the time, recalled, You know, and here's the other thing that, again, people always get astounded at. On the writing team, the biggest proponent and the biggest cheerleader for China in the room at all times was Stephanie. She was always on us. We've got to come up with something bigger for China. We've got to do more for China. We, I want ideas for China. We've got to keep her in a top role. And this was before anybody knew anything. While Stephanie may have supported China, China's attitudes towards Stephanie was about to change. The WWF superstars in the locker room weren't the only persons growing suspicious of what looked like to be more than an on-air chemistry between the game and Stephanie. In a 2011 interview with Wrestling Inc., China recalled, Well, I had my doubts, like people always say. Is it real? Is it television? Is the storyline real? I was like, is there something going on? If there is, I can take it. This was my love. This was my career. I need to know because I didn't want to lose my career. He just kept saying it wasn't. It wasn't, wasn't, but his attitude had changed. I actually did the snoop. I found a love letter from Stephanie McMahon that had been dated from the previous year, so I knew that there was a year affair going on. A China wasted no time addressing the matter. Within five minutes, I called Vince McMahon and he was basically like, okay, well, the jig is up. Okay, I'll see you on Monday. And when I walked into the building, it was like the parting of the Red Sea. It was like everybody was against Paulie. Bob Holly was standing around me, Billy was standing around me. It was just crazy. Then I actually was going into the bathroom stall of the ladies' room because I couldn't stop crying and Vince was going to talk to me. He said, are you ready to talk, China? However, China would claim that another confrontation occurred before the meeting with Vince. Then Stephanie stepped up. She took me into the room, we talked, and she goes, well, I love him. He's my man. I'm sorry if you feel that way. And I shut her up. I said, shut up. Call your dad in here because I'm going to choke you out. If you really feel that way, take control of yourself. Then Vince came in and said, let's do a new contract. I know this is tough for you, but it's going to be okay. Then I went home and I got a fax saying they didn't need me anymore. Laura left the WWF in 2001, but there are conflicting reports of why. Conventional wisdom has it that she was let go because of the tension between China and the Stephanie McMahon Triple H couple. However, there is also a story that China made unrealistic demands for her new contract and the WWF let the contract lapse in November 2001. According to Laura's sister Kathy, China was offered $400,000 a year by the WWF but wanted a base salary of $1 million. Jim Ross, who in addition to announcing matches served as executive vice president of talent relations for the WWF, worked with China when it came time to work out her new contract. According to Ross, there was absolutely no pressure from Vince McMahon to make sure China left the WWF. During an episode of his podcast Grillin' JR, Ross recalled, So, even though I, I wanted to resign her, I, never, I didn't get any pressure from Vince. He said, what do you think you're going to do with her? And he kind of left it up to me and I said, well, I'm going to I'm going to try to retain her services. We've got a lot of money and time in her. So why wouldn't we try to retain her? So do what you want to do. He never interfered for in Hunter and Stephanie's defense. I'll set for Vince. It's all business. Right. I said, but Vince, if I can't get a decent number, we may have to pass on it. He said, well, that's your call. So I couldn't get, I couldn't give her a million dollars a year. It seems unlikely Ross would lie about the situation as he has no interest in supporting the WWE nor does China's sister in stating the WWE didn't keep her because her contract demand was too high. Some skeptics argue that the Helmsley-China romance was doomed as soon as the game saw a meal ticket in Stephanie McMahon. That's something we will likely never know, but consider some comments from China's sister Kathy Hamilton, who feels China never had a chance of lasting happiness with Helmsley. They wouldn't have lasted whether Stephanie came into the picture or not. I have no animosity toward Paul. He was very good to Joni. He cared about her deeply, but she just had too many issues. China's career and personal life took a nosedive after she left the WWE, with some fans believing the events behind her breakup, coupled with her own personal demons, led to a self-destructive path that led to her overdose in 2016. 
Now we know that there's no easy answers and we'll leave it to you to decide for yourself. But we encourage you that you watch our two-part Final Bell episode, The Rise and Fall of China, for further information on Joni Laura's life. But there you have it guys, the shocking story of the Triple H China Stephanie McMahon love triangle. Up next, we promise, is the final days of Test. But be sure to leave your comments on what you thought of the episode, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.